Excellencies, distinguished hosts and guests, colleagues and friends, it's really with uh, great emotion and also great pleasure that I receive this honor to share this special uh, fundamental uh, physics prize. I thank the Fundamental Physics Prize Foundation and the award committee very deeply for this honor. What I have done in this very large experiment, in this large collaboration over many years, is actually very little. My standing here, I take humbly as a beautiful recognition for all my contemporaries. When I say contemporaries, I think, uh, well, physicists no, much, no more so young, which have aged with the LHC. I think it's, it's very nice to see this long effort of many, many of my colleagues uh, recognized by uh, this prize. Well, <clears throat> the dream to verify experimentally and probe it at the high energy frontier with the LHC of the standard model uh, started a long time ago, some 30 years ago. Of course, our motivation was also to go beyond then the standard model. And I must say I'm uh, very grateful to the leaders of CERN at that time who had the vision really to initiate that uh, project. And I think I dare to say a few names, in particular the in the very early phase, the Director Generals, Professor Schopper, Rubia, and uh, Levelin Smith, until the, exp the, the uh, project was then approved, and of course with their teams, and also to the machine pioneers. And I'm thinking here in particular of Giorgio Brianti and uh, of course Lynn Evans, we will hear uh, later on. So I'm very grateful that they allowed us really to go ahead with this project, which has now brought these fruits, I think, to the great joy of the experiments, but also to the great joy of our friends, uh, the theorists. Maybe a short word still to my work in the 90s and uh, in uh, 2000, until 2009 or so. Of course, I could never have done anything good without very uh, great management teams, very great project leaders, and there are way too many, of course, to mention, but I want to mention a few names, namely my deputies, first Thorsten Ackerson, then uh, Steiner Stabnes, and of course, last but not least, Fabiola Cianotti. I also think it is really, and those who have visited Atlas certainly can witness that a lot of uh, merit goes to the technical people which made these experiments possible and to the physicists working with the technical people. And I'm thinking here in particular of the technical coordinator in the last 10 years or so when I was in charge, Marzio Nessi, and also the resources coordinator, uh, Marcus Nordberg. But I want to end by really dedicating this beautiful prize to the whole collaboration. And in particular, maybe to a part of the collaboration which is a bit missing tonight here, namely all the young people, there are more than a thousand 
students and postdocs working on the experiment. And I must say, for me, maybe the greatest prize actually is to see the fire in their eyes when they talk about the physics, when they discuss our results. So I'm very grateful for this prize. Thank you very much.